What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to show you how to clean an Alcantara steering wheel um, the best way, my, in my opinion, the best way. So, um, you know, to kind of get all the matted spots out and to make it nice and hairy like it was when it was new. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you my wheel right now and then we can get to how to clean it. All right, here's my wheel. And it is pretty, it's pretty dusty, a bunch of dead skin. You know, that's it's completely normal for Alcantara steering wheels. Uh, when they need to be clean, they look, you know, similar to mine. Um, just kind of, if you can scratch it and it leaves a mark like that, that's how you know it, it needs to be cleaned. You need to be able to bring up the hairs again, make it nice and furry. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it um, with this product right here. It's called Sonax. It's an upholstery Alcantara cleaner. So it's the best stuff in the game, hands down to use uh, for, you know, keeping your Alcantara up to date. If it's, you know, even if it's your seats or whatever you have at Alcantara, headliner, it doesn't matter. You can clean it with this stuff. It's really, it's really good. So yeah, I'm gonna get into the first steps. So the two things you're gonna need to do this are the Sonax uh, Alcantara upholstery cleaner, obviously. And then the second thing you're gonna need is microfiber towels. I just have a big bag of them from, you know, trying to keep my car clean as much as I can with the dust and stuff out here in Arizona. So you need two of these and the Sonax and that's pretty much all you need. So, yeah. So before you start, I'm gonna do the right side first. Um, you wanna make sure there's not, you know, obviously any big pieces of like hair, or like I think there's a little piece of cat fur on there or something. So yeah, you wanna make sure there's, it's clean of, you know, bigger debris and then you wanna just take it and light and gently let the foam run on it let it soak and you'll hear you'll hear a sizzle which means it's doing its job get in the crevices and stuff it's not a big deal if it gets in the plastic you really want to hit these um the m color stitching that's a big spot that gets dirty on these steering wheels so yeah once you get that spread around, um, you kind of let it soak after you spread it around like so. And then after that, you want to take your microfiber to it and really rough it up. And then you want to repeat that cycle a couple times minimum. I like to do it three times um, just so I know I'm doing the most that I need to do to you know, get all of the dirt and all the stuff and get it really hairy again. Any spots that you see are dry, just try and try and hit it with the product. The product is your, you know, your best friend. Don't be afraid to put a lot on. This can's like 15 bucks, I think, and it gets me through a lot of different cleanings. So yeah. All right. So once it starts to soak in a little bit, kind of like this, um, to where you can see it looks a little wet. There's still a little bit of foam left. That's good. You want that there because you know, you want as much product as you can. You want the product to do what it's supposed to do. So then is what I do is I take the microfiber and I really dig in to the wheel, kind of rough it up, try and bring up as much dirt as I can or whatever else is on the wheel. And don't be afraid to get, don't be afraid to grip it, man. But as you can see with my stripe, I'm kind of upset. My stripe, I was cleaning it one time and I got a little too rough and I actually, the Sonex stuff is kind of gnarly. It'll take off paint and stuff. So you gotta be careful. This is all that, all that is is dyed leather. So it took the dye off of my stripe. So yeah, I need to re-dye that. I'll make probably a video on that. Honestly, I don't know. It might, not, it might not even be worth a video. It's just gonna be repainting it with a Q-tip or something. So yeah. So yeah, you really want to work into the steering wheel. And if I show my cloth, eh, it's not too dirty, but you really want to work it in. Just really try and clean up, rough up some of it. All right, so that's up to the first run around of it. I want to get some of these areas. These areas get really, um, really worn in, you know? So I wanna try and get as best as I can. Oh shit. I'm try and keep as much off of like plastic and stuff as you can. It's not a big deal, but yeah. All right guys, we're back with the normal, after the 
three cycles of using Sonax along with microfiber. Something else I like to do is I like to put a little bit of Sonax on a toothbrush and I like to give it a good, you know, scrub on the parts that I want to be, you know, hairy or like the parts that are really matted down. You really want to work with a toothbrush to make, and I, I hold the steering wheel at 10 and two or in that corner, I put my thumb, which you can see, kind of see it's matted down. This one isn't matted down anymore. Um, cause I used the Sonax on it and really got into it and rubbed it hard. It kind of made it hairy and furry again. And as well, you can see the stitching kind of brightened up compared to this stuff over here where it's kind of dusty and dirty still. So yeah, this product actually works really, really well if you have um, an Alcantara steering wheel and you want to keep it in good shape, which I don't know who wouldn't. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of the interior of this car. Um, so yeah, this is another thing you can do. It's like a little bonus to kind of make it hairy again, uh, like you want, so yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, a little informative how-to. Um, let me know if you, what you guys think in the comments or if you guys use any other techniques to keep your Alcantara looking like new. So yeah, anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.